Welcome to Bible Track Echoes. This program is the radio ministry of Bible Tracks Incorporated. Our mission is to take the Word of God to all the world. Our Bible teacher is the director of Bible Tracks, Pastor Mark Smith. Since 1938, Bible Tracks Incorporated has been publishing clear gospel tracks and supplying them to churches, missionaries, and individuals all over the world and all at no charge. Information on how you can receive a free sample pack of our tracts will be given at the end of this broadcast. Now for our Bible study, here is our teacher, Pastor Mark Smith. How do you do, my friend? Welcome to the Tract and Truth Tuesday edition here at Bible Tract Echoes. It is the day that we really use to encourage each other to be more effective and more active in telling the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. We try to encourage each other to sharpen our skills in verbally telling the gospel. And obviously, since this radio program is the radio arm of a gospel tract organization, we always encourage you to use gospel tracts as well as one of the tools of your personal outreach, your personal evangelism efforts. I hope your local church urges people uh, there. I hope your pastor uses tracts and urges the people in your church to use gospel tracts. I want to give you some free gospel tracts here in just a moment. But on our Tuesday broadcast, I'd like to, if I can, encourage each other in what God does when the gospel is shared. Let me tell you a story. It's a famous story. I love it so much. I think you're going to enjoy it. Many years ago in St. Louis, a lawyer visited a Christian. He went there to transact some business. Before the two, though, parted, his client said to him, I've often wanted to ask you a question, but I've been afraid to do so. Well, what do you want to know? Said the lawyer. The man replied, I'm wondering why you are not a Christian. The man hugged his head. I know enough about the Bible to recognize that it says that no drunkards can enter the kingdom of heaven. And you know that that's my weakness, the lawyer said. But you're avoiding my question, said the believer. Well, truly, I can't recall anybody ever explaining to me, the lawyer said, how to become a Christian. Well, with that, the believer picked up a Bible and he began to read some Bible passages showing the lawyer all the things there about the fact that all are condemned with their sin, but that Christ came to save the lost by dying on the cross for their sins. He went on to say, by receiving Christ as your substitute and redeemer, you can be forgiven. If you're willing to receive Jesus, let's pray together right now. Well, the lawyer agreed, and when it was his turn to pray, he said these words, O Jesus, I am a slave to drink. One of your servants has shown me how to be saved. O God, forgive my sins and help me overcome the power of this terrible habit in my life. And right there, that lawyer was converted. The lawyer's name was C.I. Schofield, who later edited the Schofield Reference Bible that I and just probably millions of others grew up on and many today still use. Somebody shared the gospel with C.I. Schofield as an adult, and boy, did God transform his life. The gospel works, my friend, not just back in the good to old days, because these are gospel days as well. In a moment, I'm going to be reading from the Gospel of Mark. If you can, get your Bible open to the Mark chapter 4, and I'll begin to read at verse 26 here in just a moment. I mentioned gospel tracts. Now, friend, just in case you don't know, a gospel tract, I'm sure you've seen one, but a gospel tract is an evangelism tool. It's a short written presentation of God's plan of salvation. We have 40 different gospel tracts I want to give to you. It's all part of a sample packet. It's one each of all of our English tracts. One of those tracts is this one, Two Kinds of Death. That's the title, Two Kinds of Death. My friend, there are only two kinds of death. Now, I'm not talking about your physical reason for dying. I'm talking about the spiritual situation in your death. You either die in your sin or you die in Jesus Christ. You either die in your sin and go to a Christless eternity of torment or you die in Jesus Christ, him being your Savior, you go to glory and you are forever with your Savior. 
this track is very simple, very clear. It talks about the fact that people are dead in their sins. It talks about the fact that people need life that is everlasting life. And this life is found in the wounded man at God's right hand. And it explains the gospel very clearly. Oh, friend, it's a great, great gospel tool. I want to give it to you. At the end of the program, my announcer will give you our contact information. Jot down, have pen and paper ready. Jot down how to contact us. Give us your name. Give us your mailing address. We'll send you that sample packet absolutely free of charge. And for 81 years, we've been giving tracks away free of charge all over the world. You're not an exception. There are no exceptions to the gospel. Anyone who believes can be saved. Well, we'll give tracks to anyone who asks. Please ask for the sample packet. If you can't wait to the end of this broadcast, just go, please, to our website. You can order the sample packet there. Our web address is BibleTracksInc.org. Well, Gospel of Mark, chapter 4. Chapter 4 has a lot of famous stories in it. The story of the parable of the sower and the seed, the story about putting a candle, you don't hide it under a bushel, and so on. But verse 26 and following says this, Mark chapter 4, verse 26. And he, Jesus, said, So is the kingdom of God, as if a man did cast seed into the ground and should sleep and rise night and day, the seed should spring and grow up, He knoweth not how, for the earth bringeth forth fruit of herself, first the blade, then the ear, after that the full corn in the ear. But when the fruit is brought forth, immediately he, the farmer, putteth in the sickle, because the harvest is come. How can I get started using gospel tracks? Now, that's a question I get asked with some frequency. And to be blunt uh, with you, there is no one way to start using gospel tracks except to just start using gospel tracks. Let me, though, give you some suggestions that other people have found helpful. And maybe some of these ideas will be good in helping you get started in using tracks as an evangelism tool. But first, let me tell you a different kind of a track story. Many years ago, I read this story in a Christian magazine. It happened in California. Two teenagers tried to rob a Baptist pastor. His name was Ross Owens. Twice these young men shot Pastor Owens with a twenty-two caliber revolver, but the pastor walked away unhurt. The pastor said, I was supposed to die, but nothing happened. The two teenagers did rob the pastor of all of a dollar and 27 cents. Somebody watching this whole thing alerted the police. They caught quickly these two young teenagers, arrested them. But as the police examined Pastor Owen's clothes, they found a bullet hole in his sports coat, but there was no blood. When they reached into the coat pocket, the pastor pulled out a number of gospel tracks, and the tracks had stopped the bullet from entering into his body, and they found the bullet in the bottom of his coat pocket. Now, I tell you that just to say, see, gospel tracks do work. They save people. Well, obviously, saving people's physical lives is not their intent. We're here to talk about saving people's souls. So, how can we get started using gospel tracks? Number one is this. Pray about your day before you leave your house. Pray. Ask the Holy Spirit to prompt you to remember to use tracks. If you put yourself at the disposal of the Spirit, He will help you. Number one, pray before you leave the house to use and ask the Spirit of God to help you, prompt you to use tracks. Number two, have a tracked buddy. Have a tracked buddy. Have somebody that you can report to that will hold you accountable to make sure that you use tracks and they do as well. Number three, you can leave tracks in a lot of different places and God certainly uses them. But honestly, the very best way is to personally hand somebody a track. Ask the person if they are sure they're on their way to heaven when they die. Tell them that they can know for sure and that this gospel pamphlet will tell them how they can know for sure they're on their way to heaven. Sometimes this conversation uh, that you're having where your first intent is to hand them a track, often that conversation will open up to you an opportunity for you personally to walk this person through the plan of salvation right there and then. What a joy. Even if the person doesn't receive Christ, the thrill in your soul, I cannot 
overemphasize the thrill that will come to your soul when you have personally told somebody the gospel. Now, that is the very best way to go about using gospel tracts, you handing them the gospel tract, because often not only will that tract go into their hand, but it often turns into a conversation. Here's a fourth idea about how to get started. At the next Sunday night church service, I hope your church has one of those, but at the next Sunday night church service, or perhaps at the next small group that you're part of, share your personal testimony of giving out gospel tracts. Here's why I think it is wise to do that. It has at least a fourfold impact. Number one is this, your testimony will encourage others to pass out gospel tracts because they're going to look at you and they're going to say, well, if Joe can do it, if Mary can do it, if Mark can do it, then I can do it too. Secondly, your testimony will encourage your pastor with the fact that you're telling the gospel. That will thrill his soul. He'll go home and he and his wife will hoot and holler for joy. Number three, your testimony becomes a teaching time to show others how sharing the gospel can be done. You'll be teaching people through your testimony. And the last way that I know of, if you'll share your testimony of giving out gospel tracts, it will make you accountable to your church family. It'll spur you to do, to do more with the gospel tracts because you know somebody is going to come up to you sometime and say, hey, Joe, hey, Mary, have you handed out any tracts this week? Tell me where you did it. Tell me what happened. And you're going to want to be ready. You know what? Being accountable at work is a good thing. Your boss is going to want to make sure that his paycheck that he gives to you is worth what he is paying you. He's going to make you accountable for your production and so on. Well, let's be accountable to one another. Yes, our ultimate accountability is to the Lord Jesus Christ. We live and die unto him. But God has put us into the this family unit of a local church. And that local church family has a great impact on us and we as individuals on it. One of the impacts is we have this mutual accountability for walking with Christ, a mutual accountability in our prayer life, but a mutual accountability in our telling the gospel. Some people, they find it easy to share the gospel. I had to learn how and overcome fear. Mark chapter 4, verses 26 through 28 and 29 what does that farmer know in that story? Well, he knows that if he plants good seed into the good soil, the seed will automatically produce a crop. He does the planting, he does the watering, but the earth brings forth fruit of itself automatically. The farmer simply uses the laws of production that God has put into the world. God has put the law of spiritual production into the world. We plant the seed of the gospel in the lives of people. And God, by his grace, mercy, and power, he's the one that takes the gospel seed and brings forth fruit. But if it's not planted, there is no fruit. That's our job. Let's go plant some gospel seed today. Amen. Thank you for joining us today for Bible Tract Echoes. If you would like to receive a free sample packet of our tracks, you can contact us by calling 309-828-6888. Our mailing address is Bible Tracks, P.O. Box 188, Bloomington, Illinois, 61702. Again, our phone number is 309-828-6888. And our mailing address is P.O. Box 188, Bloomington, Illinois, 61702. You can also contact us through our website. Our web address is BibleTracksInc.org. Remember, the word tracks is spelled T-R-A-C-T-S. That address is BibleTracksInc.org. May the Lord richly bless you as you serve Him.